Ukrainians of all ages came here to Brighton Beach to share their stories. Many here now have families thrust into the middle of a war they didn't ask to be part of. They have no way out. Yuliana was born in Kiev. Her brother is on the front lines. Her sister and aunt, they're in bomb shelters. We know that there was a car with the family with three kids. Uh, only one survived. Mom, dad and two daughters died. So it's insane. Regular citizens are dying. This is not how war is done. For Olga Kazakova and her husband, Ukraine is home. They say family and friends are living in terror. They cannot go outside. Uh, thank God they have food and water, Some but they so scared. They so scared because it's uh, shooting outside. And the sad reality is that many innocent lives have been lost. This isn't just a rally. It's a candlelight vigil as they call for an end to the violence in Ukraine that has been ongoing for days. It's not Ukraine for, uh, and, and Russia conflict. It's civilization against evil. And if you're not, if you're not stop uh, Putin today, tomorrow we'll pay the price. For the dozens and dozens here, the most jarring thing about this conflict, how quickly it changed the lives of so many. Just a few days ago, the men, women, and children of Ukraine were living their lives just like you and I. Within hours, those same Ukrainians who were enjoying their freedoms are now finding themselves in a war that they did not ask for. Those looking to help Ukraine can donate directly to the country's military. A GoFundMe was set up by the Kiev Independent, which has offered real-time on-the-ground reporting of the war. There's also a Ukraine-based aid organization called Voices of Children, which offers psychological support to kids who've witnessed war firsthand. And something as simple as showing up to a rally like this one can help by offering Ukrainians here and around the world a reminder they're not alone. In Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, Kevin Rincon, CBS2 News.